Hi, I'm Mr. Ball. Thanks for tuning in. Today we're talking about the judiciary, and the professor was kind enough to come back to the show and shed some light on this topic for us today. So, professor, maybe you could start off by just explaining to us what the judiciary is. Fine. The judiciary consists of the federal courts. It's one of three branches the Constitution supports. You have district courts and circuit courts, and then at the top, you can't appeal any higher. The Supreme Court's the last stop. So the Supreme Court is pretty powerful. Uh, yes, of course, it's the court of last resort. It gives the final word on matters of great import. Just nine individuals to settle the nation's beef. Eight associate justices are headed by a chief. After pondering the Constitution, a conclusion they will draw. They resolve disputes and can even strike down a law. That's right, Marbury v. Madison, what does John Marshall do? He says to Congress, you've been checked. Judicial review. And the president gets to choose who the Supreme Court justices are, correct? Hmm, power rarely goes unchecked. But you're partially correct. Federal judges are appointed by the Prez, but it's not like Congress does everything that he says. We have checks and balances for almost everything. The Senate must confirm his choice. President's not a king. Okay, so when a new president takes office, are new justices then appointed? No, they can serve until they croak if they choose. They're in. There are no elections for them to lose. Okay, so they're not elected. They stay there for life. They don't seem very accountable to the people. Is is that the case? <coughs> yes, they have quite a bit of independence and protection. Decisions should be made without the fear of re-election. The passions of the people can be whimsical and rash, and the opinion of the court could very likely clash. On weighty matters, the hope is to depoliticize. But let's face it, they are also humans who see through human eyes. Yeah, that's interesting. But I guess they are being chosen by the president and confirmed by the Senate. But in the event that they do get out of line, these justices, way out of line, are there any checks on their power? Say, that's actually a good question. If a justice is quite bad and a law has been breached, said judge may be impeached. Or if a decision's unpopular, there's a solution. With enough support, we can amend the Constitution. I'll add one more thing to consider. The courts are reliant on others to enforce. If they get too absurd, they'll end up a Trojan horse. What I'm getting at is they need other parts of government to back up their decree. Being too far from the people could undermine their authority. Professor, thanks for being with us again. Just a joke. Just for last time.